Few art forms put you in touch with nature like making pottery. You literally mold the earth with your hands. Cindy Carter recently met a Burns, Tennessee couple who found they had a knack for creating art inspired by the leaves on their trees. What makes a good potter? Hard work, careful consideration, passion, and patience. I enjoy it completely, you know, so I don't want to quit. What makes a good marriage? Ditto. I had to teach him how to glaze once he quit working. He retired. He get the Yeah, glaze. she had to teach me how. <laughs> <I did. laughs> Ronnie and Patty Thornton are a pair of potters who every day work side by side in the garage of their Tennessee home. The pieces they press and push into shape are inspired by the rustic scenery that surrounds them. The couple spends a lot of time together, a lot. Not necessarily unexpected once they reached retirement, but they certainly didn't expect this. We just started doing it and say, hey, it worked for us. A second career, a second calling, a second chance to redefine their lives as professional artists. I got this wild idea to make my own mug because I love coffee. <laughs> Patty's coffee craving brought her into Dixon, Tennessee's Renaissance Center, a place where students of all ages can pursue a variety of artistic expressions. But she says the buzz she got once she actually started getting her hands dirty was a rush she did not anticipate. It was fun, but it also, it would make me cry sometimes because I could not get it as soon as I wanted to um, make, get that mug to look like a real mug, you know. Over time, Patty started improving, often bringing her work home to Ronnie for inspection. Actually, she got me into pottery. A year later, they both were taking pottery classes at Pegram's Mud Puddle Pottery Studio. Once he started taking classes, it sort of just rubbed off. Uh, uh, he, he couldn't go backwards, he liked it. Soon, this couple's so-called hobby started shaping into something more. Friends and family pointed out their work was good, real good. Good enough, people might actually pay for it. It takes a while. It takes a good while for you to get your confidence. And once the confidence and creativity started colliding, the couple decided to take a chance and sell a few pieces at the Clarksville Farmer's Market. The response was so strong, Patty and Ronnie started selling more and making more. We were both working full-time jobs and then trying to do that show every Saturday and build up inventory. We would come home of a, during the evening and work down here till bedtime and then do the same thing every day. Something had to give. And that's how the Thorntons decided to retire from their previous professional lives and grab hold of their new identities as artists. I never thought I would do it. No, no, not, not in the least. It's just happened. That's, that's all I can say. It just happened and it's, it's been great. It has been great. Their work reflects the Tennessee foliage that surrounds them. It's big, see the figs all over it. Redbud leaves, sycamore leaves, they all wind up carefully etched into or painted on to the various pieces. It's their signature, really. You don't want to copy someone else. You want to have your own ideas. And it just worked out. People loved it. When lush Tennessee vegetation is your signature, it can make creating art in the winter months a bit challenging, which is why the Thorns have a freezer full of inspiration to choose from. Remember, this is all done by hand. It's a slow process creating a single piece. There's the shaping, the drawing, the heating, the glazing, the drying, and so on. If she throws a mug today, we would be lucky to get it done, finished, completely finished in two weeks. 
For the Thorntons, the retirement years are not about taking a step back. And again, there's a lot of togetherness. We have our moments sometimes where we, oh, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. Everybody does that. So, yeah, we, we, we really enjoy it. We enjoy working together. And like I say, we've done it for 10 years. Which is why the Thorntons are glad they decided to reshape their lives as potters, as artists. I think it's therapy. I, I really do. And meeting all the people that you meet. The freedom to do something you, in, you enjoy. That's what I love.